Yes, guys, this channel is about going to football grounds. So I'm going to try to go to every football ground. So leave down in the comments what one you want me to go to. And maybe in a couple of years I'll be going to international get like Paris, Barcelona games, Real Madrid games, stuff like that. So this is about Bromley today. So it's going to be right on atmosphere, um, cost, food and drink, and facilities. Facilities is um just because I don't really go like around the ground, like or around the inside the grounds. I'm just gonna do it on the actual like look of the stadium. If it looks old, new, good, bad. So the max score is out of twenty, and at the end, once I finish a league, so say I finish the national league of like everyone in it. They'll be saying who is the best crowd, best food and drink, best ground, and lowest cost. And then I'll be making the team. So today I'll only be focusing on Bromley. So I'll give them a random map from Bromley. So I'm not, well, I was there to watch Bromley, but this isn't. So you could be like. In the comments, someone might go, Oh, yeah, but this plan will make the best on this plan only. I'll be going to Meadow Park, trust me. I'll go there every game, so. Hopefully. So, all I know this season is I'll be going, well, Bromley, because you'll be watching it, and um, Bournemouth and Ebbsfleet. That's the three games I know them. Well, that's three stadiums I know I'm going to. Not sure about any else yet, but I probably will. So let's get in the game. Bournemouth need the win. Bromley mid table as well, so they need. We need the win more than them, <coughs> as we are to find to stay in the division. The line there, we'll start fighting to stay in the division and probably won't. So, if so, in the description, it will have a table, I think, probably. If not, I'll find a way, but it'll say. So the name and stadium name, which I don't know for Bromley, how, what score they got for everything, and what was their score out of 20 overall, and also, just, yeah, and it'll be written a man match, so, yeah, let's get in the game, so I bombed it on the attack here. Off with that number 15. He's a really good turn back. I noticed. But it don't matter because we are the wood. So hopefully, this corner can deliver from Sean Shields. Mm, there's something going on by the keeper. Between Rust and Gabriel. There, man. The corner's taken. Oh, but the ref calls it back. So the corner isn't taken, pretty much. So the corner's going to be retaken. Yep. And Rust and Gabriel will still be on the keeper. Hopefully Bournemouth could grab when We haven't won since Barnet, which was on the... I can't remember, like, it's like midway through December. 
and we haven't scored since 23rd of January, I think. Like the 27th of Jan, which isn't good because we need to get a goal if we're going to stay up. We need to get wins if we're going to stay up as well. So hopefully, we can grab a win here. Bromley have a corner. Whip it in. It's cleared away at only as far as the edge of the box. There, that comes down here. Cuts inside. Bang! And the crowd of players 15. Now struggling to get back. Oh, John Shield nearly gets in between the keeper and defender there to not quite get the ball. But John Shield has a corner here. Whips it in and it's headed away over the bar for another corner on the opposite side. Well, John Shield job over. Did to do. Yeah, it was a 4G pitch as well. It wasn't like a grass pitch or half, half and half. It's fully 4G. So, it was quite the ball's skin so much. And there's so much wind. But there's no aim. But here, oh, we'll shoot. And it's their first goal in over a month. And Rustin Gabriel on the follow-up rebound open goal, just a little tapping. And I think it was Shaby that had the original shot. I'm gonna look at this system. Um, and Bullwood on track to win that burger. I'll see how it goes at the end, won't you? But Bromley on the attack. Yeah, I had a good turnout, I think. But now it's played to the left back who bangs it from long range. Oh, it looked like he was going, but good to so have Ryan had up to deny them from scoring. When was the last? I can't remember the last time I kept a clean sheet. I'll tell you, we haven't kept a clean sheet in a long time. Another corner whipped in, cleared. Out here, and now they get a free kick whipped in. And Rustin Gabriel he just kicks him in the head, and he's down on the floor. Brilliant. He, Rustin Gabriel does get a yellow card and then gets subbed off for number 11 Bradley Ash, who was the hero against Barnett twice. He scored the winning goal when we played them at home. That was our last win. At 89th minute. And then he scored a penalty away at Barnet. Which was good. Can't complain. I don't understand. They hold the ball up. And then put it down. And then can't you just keep it on the floor and just kick it? Do you have to hold it up in the air? Look. Holds it up, everyone knows where it is, and crossed in. Can't you just cross it? Do you have to hold it up? Ryan hold up, collects comfortably, but do you have to hold it up? Oh, Dave Stevens, good save by the keeper. It's a good header, to be fair to him. He's just come back from injury, his first game back from injury. Didn't look quite out of shape from injury, but... The corner's going to be whipped in somewhere the man is. Oh, there it is. Whipped in, cleared only as far as the halfway line where Femi picks it up. Puts it back all the way over the other side. Bromley have a corner here.
Look, 10. Played in the crowd of players. Collects comfortably by Ryan Hodder. There's quite a lot of corners in this game. Bromley do look threatening. So hopefully we can get another one here. But I think we might need another one just to secure it because Bromley do look pretty dangerous sometimes. Whipped in now. Tom Champion! Oh. Good save by the keeper, good reactions, good tip over the bar. Can't complain. Come another corner here, whipped in. Front post, it's all just a scramble button and they clear. It's quite cloudy because that storm phrase or whatever. That's why it was windy. Bouncing around here, just headers. Now it's on the floor. But now it's played over the top. And Femi just sees it go out. Good claim there by Ryan Hoddart, the ex Arsenal and 23 keeper or something. I know it's the ex Arsenal keeper. Fun fact, his best moment of his career was sitting on the bench in the Europa League. Oh, he should have turned and shot, but didn't. So, and no, it's not the same clip as all the others. This is just another corner. Whipped in to back post, cleared off the line by Kieran Murtagh. Was that in? Comment below if that was in. Comment below what ground I should visit and if that was in. Put, like, I don't know. Meadow Park, Bournemouth, and no, it wasn't in. Just put that, or whichever ground. Rest oh, I thought Russ and Gabriel got subbed off. Okay, they haven't. He hasn't yet. Would have just passing it around the back, waiting for an opportunity to arise. To hopefully grab another one and seal this game off. Trump Shield now. Twisting and turning in the box. And oh, now Rustin Gable is off. Shot by Br Bradley Ash. And a follow up by Idris Kanu. Everyone has gone wild at this point, as you can see in the bottom left corner. A kid fell over. And that's born with second goal. This game was. The Bromley support today was good from so atmosphere three and a half stars. Food and drink. Burger was really good. Four stars. Cost. I got him for free, but burger was a bit expensive. Four and a half stars. Facilities. The ground was good. I liked it. It's good. But a bit open for me. Three and a three stars. Today's man of the match was well my man of the match was number fifteen for Bromley. Mark Anthony Okay from Nigeria. I don't know how to say his name. Number 15. Thanks for watching and bye.